onboard Virgin Atlantic. You are about to see our safety information video. It's really important to give it your full attention, even if you are a seasoned traveler, like me. The information can help reduce injury in an emergency situation and can differ from aircraft to aircraft. First, all baggage should be stored securely, either in the overhead lockers or under the seat in front of you. All aisles and exits should be kept clear. As we are about to leave, you need to fasten your seatbelt. To fasten the belt, push the two metal ends together until they click. Then pull the strap until the belt is tightly fastened around your head. To release the belt, lift the buckle. To loosen the belt, pull on both sides of the buckle. This is a non-smoking flight, and it's expressly forbidden to smoke anywhere on the aircraft, including the toilets, which are all fitted with smoke detectors. Should additional oxygen suddenly be required, masks will drop down automatically. Remain seated and pull a mask firmly towards you. This activates the oxygen supply. Place the mask over your nose and mouth and breathe normally. You may need to adjust the elasticated strap. You should fit your own mask before helping others. Your life jackets can be found either under or between your seats. Please refer to your safety card for the exact location. Break the seal to remove it from the bag. Check the straps to unpack the jacket. And while seated, slip it over your head. Pass the straps around your waist and tie securely with a double knot at the side. Smaller life jackets for children will be fitted by the cabin crew, and flotation cots for babies will be distributed. Adult life jackets must only be inflated when you are outside the aircraft. Pull down firmly on the tag. There is a light and a whistle for attracting attention and jackets may be inflated or topped up by blowing into the tube at the top. In an emergency landing, you must use the brace position to help prevent injury. Make sure your seatbelt is tightly fastened. Place both feet firmly on the floor and slightly under your own seat. Place one hand over the other on the back of your head, bend forward and tuck your elbows outside the knees. If possible, rest your head on the seat in front. In the event of reduced visibility in the cabin, follow the lights along the aisle. When this stop, you've reached an exit. Should you have to open the door, you will need to either lift the hands up completely or rotate the hands in the direction of the arrow. As the doors open, the slide should inflate automatically. If they fail to do so, just pull the red handle. Please refer to your safety card for full instructions on operation of doors and slides, and please do vary. When using the slides, please make sure you remove your high heel shoes. Now please check that your seatbelt is tightly fastened. Your seat must be in the upright position with the armrest down. Any tray tables must be folded away. Where fitted, leg rest must be retracted and movable TV monitors should be put away correctly. Please ensure your mobile phone is turned off for the duration of the flight. All other electronic equipment should be switched off for takeoff. Your nearest exits, which may be behind you, are being pointed out now by your cabin crew. Don't forget, your safety is our number one priority. And the crew are there to help you if you do not understand any of the procedures. Finally, we ask you all to please study the safety card which is in your seat pocket. It gives full information on the operation of the exits and the locations of life jackets, slides and rafts on this aircraft. Thank you for your attention. We hope you enjoy your flight with Virgin Atlantic.